Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over an unboxing of the new console vault for the Tesla Model 3. We'll do an installation and then we'll do some final thoughts. And at the very end, I'll share a discount code that you can use to save 10% off your order. Let's get started with an unboxing. So first we have some hardware. We have our instruction manual. And we have the console vault itself. So if you've ever owned another console vault, you'll notice the quality. And this is, uh, actually this one has a little nicer finish than some of my last ones I've had. So this one already has the lock installed, which opens up and closes. You can set your code. Set it back to zero. And uh, spring loaded. So while it's closed, it'll automatically open up. Now before we install the console vault, I wanna point out that there are three screws. Uh, they're self-tapping screws that came with the console vault. And on the vault itself, there's gonna be two in the back that's gonna be accessed from the inside. So when you open up the inside, you'll be screwing two in the back and one here in the front. Okay, so the first step of the installation process is to clean out the center console, which I've already done here. So you can clean out the center console. You can leave the rubber mat. Uh, you're supposed to leave the rubber mat in the bottom. Make sure the, if you do have the wireless charger, make sure those are unplugged from the ports. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold these cables up out of the way. We're gonna slip the console in with the lock towards the back of the vehicle. So we're gonna slip it in like this. And it'll drop down just like that. Okay, so now this next step is to go ahead and screw these self-tapping screws into the console vault and you can either use a 11 millimeter socket or if you have standard a 7 16 inch socket. I'm gonna go ahead and use a 7 16 since that's what I have here. So we'll hand tighten them. So one in the back, excuse me, two in the back, second one in the back and they just go into the provisions. and one in the front. And it's gonna be in the front right side up here. And once you have them started by hand, we'll use this. Now, one thing I wanna point out is make sure you install the screw in the front first and then the two in the back. If you screw in the two in the back first, it's gonna push the console vault forward and it will actually cover up your USB ports. So I made the mistake and I had to redo this, but make sure you install the front screw first and then the back. Okay, so now that we're done tightening the screws, we're all set. We can go ahead and plug our wires back in and it's a nice finish. There we go. Now that our console vault is installed, one thing I wanted to point out was in the back of the console vault, there is a provision that's cut out to allow the light that's installed in the center console to shine through. So it will illuminate whatever's inside here. So the last step is to set our code. And so the way to set the code is on the bottom here, there's a hole. And if you grab a pin or paper clip, we can push that in and we can change the code. So let's just say I want to set one, two, three as my code. I'll release the screw. And now my code is set to one, two, three. So if I were to set it back to zero, 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 would not work. So I'd set it to one, two, three, and now that works. That concludes today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. 
I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button if you felt this video was helpful. And you can always subscribe for notifications for any kind of future videos that I may come out with. And of course, for that 10% off discount code, during checkout, use code JJ10 for 10% off your order. Again, I hope this video was helpful and look forward to seeing you on the next one.